happen is Sunday, and that means Jason has a Let's high go. five. Let's go. High five. I am. All right, Jason, first of all, you got to tell me all about something that I didn't know we could talk about on TV, and that's the afternoon it, delight. Well, for Kyle Bradish, it is, and this will be my third Sunday game here for Mass. And Bradish started the previous two. I th I'm like, I think he's pretty good on Sundays. I think he's pretty good at daytime. You'll see the splits here. He's been masterful. And, Rob, the last three Sunday starts, he faces a good Marlins team, a really good Seattle team, a really good Texas team. 21 innings pitched in those three starts, Rob. 0 0.619 whip, 1.29 ERA, 19 Ks to just four walks in those three outings. He's been great with McCann. McCann behind the dish again today. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I, I love Radish. I like watching him play. Watch the pitch. He's developing right before our eyes, Rob. And of course, it's return of the Go Go O's, Jason. Rob, if we had been talking at this time last week, I'd have said, what happened to the Orioles' run game? Going into that game against the Yankees last Sunday night, they gone six games without attempting a steal. Longest of the season. Six steals in their last seven games, or six, at least they ran six times in the last seven games. Only once in this last week did they not try to steal a bag. James McCann stealing third the other yeah. night. How about that? They led the league, you can see there are 30 steals in the first month of the season. They're already six for six this month. They don't have Alvarez, the really poor catcher back there for the Mets today, but the backup um, has also allowed 15 steals to second base and 18 attempts. So I bet we see them go again today, Rob. Well, Ramon Urias gets a stolen base without sliding. Credit to the stolen base coach, whoever that is, <laughs> in charge of that. Hey, speaking of Ramon Urias, there's no place like home for him. There isn't. And if you're thinking, why is he in the lineup every night here at Camden Yards? Well, part of it is they face some lefties. But it's also what he does at Camden Yards. His weighted runs created plus is a 120. The 100 is the average. On the road, it's about a 73. He's 100%, uh, 100 points higher in his on-base percentage at home. And keep an eye on Adley Rutschman, who's DHing tonight, Rob. He leads the O's at home in every category except for RBIs. This is his sixth time DHing in his last 14 starts. He did it just two times the previous 13. That bat is in high order when he DHs 11 RBIs in his last 10 games as a DH. And you got to keep him in a lot of somehow. Yes, you do. Now, Jason, you went on a little field trip last I night. I did. Right? One Where'd of my go? favorite places, Bowie, Prince George's Stadium. We were going to go anyway, Rob, but then Cedric and Wells were there in a rehab assignment. Look, Cedric, you can look at the box score. A lot of things looked great. He got a base hit. He hit the ball hard. He made an amazing a skyscraper catch out in center field to save a home run for Wells. And what I love, Rob, is just watching him on the base pass, tagging up and scoring on a sack fly. Not just going station to station. He looked great. Tyler Wells, he was awesome the first three innings. The fourth inning ran into some trouble, some hard hit balls. Nick York, one of the Red Sox top prospects, took him deep. Cedric saved a home run. It was a line drive right at Wells. Thankfully, he got his glove on it. I don't know if he's going to the bullpen. You know, he's pitched a lot. He's over the limit from last year. Yeah. Good for three innings, a tough fourth inning. Tough fourth inning. And just in time. Not really just in time, but it might be just it in time. It might be just in time. <laughs> Remember, Justin Verlander was a New York Met before he went back to the Astros. Verlander would have started game one against the Orioles Friday night. Instead, he pitched yesterday in the Bronx for the Astros. He could have pitched Thursday afternoon for the Astros here, Rob, but he's not. They're backing him up to Friday to make a home debut. So the O's will miss him as a Met. They'll miss him this time as an Astro. Maybe they'll get him in Houston in September when the O's are down there. And maybe, just maybe, right here in October. I can remember him struggling against the Orioles in the playoffs before. I don't know about you, but I seem to recall his time in Detroit not going as well as he did. No, did. The, three, the three Cy Young Award winners out there. Didn't work out for him. Yeah, they got smacked around. Hey, man, uh, awesome. Jason's high five.